back in city skylines and it feels like it feels like ages since we were in this game we were doing really well with our uk build and then then there was lots of updates and extra packs that came out and mods would just it just didn't work and then i lost heart um <laughs> and now we're back we're back i've spent a bit of time going through all the mods and different things I use and removing them. Because uh, there's a lot I was using that I didn't need to use. I was re like revisited versions of them or I didn't like, yeah, just bits and pieces. And now, as you can tell, it's, it's, it's actually playing reasonably lovely, actually. I got, it's not spurting or splattering or anything like that yet. Touch wood. Um, this is the map I've decided to go on. Uh, we're currently working. Our working city name is Oakley Down. Oakley Down is our working city name. If you can think of a better one, by all means, put it in the comments below. I'll be very happy to consider any name options. Uh, yeah, but this map is beautiful. You sort of got this main island running through and then these smaller islands on either side. And the road network's already sort of set up to get to those islands. So we got a lot, we got roads going across and then they just stop. And I quite like that. It sort of gives you the freedom of going where you want to go, when you want to go, stuff like that. Uh, but at the minute, this is our starting our starting square. We we do have uh, railroads running straight through the middle, railway tracks like that, which I quite like. We can plan around the railway tracks. I wish trains unlocked earlier, if I'm honest, but they don't. And then we've got a nice motorway connection. Which is lovely. That's a really nice junction. I need to do more junctions. I tend to just cop out and go with a, 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 a roundabout. Like, we're from the UK. Roundabouts everywhere. I'm used to roundabouts. But I'd imagine this wouldn't be the nicest place to live, this side of the tracks. We've got a, a big junction here. A big ju That junction I want to look at when we unlock it. I want to look at um, sort of math, like lane mathematics and things like that. I think that probably needs a bit of a play with but it's going to be quite loud over here so i figure we're going to have our industry up here and if anyone's watched my playthroughs before they 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 know that i don't like big chunks of industry i'm not a huge fan of just generic spawned in industry so we're probably going to start off with industry up here and it looks like there's farming here so we could do some farming and, and the dlc stuff which i really like and then we'll have like a little living area down here Sort of running up to the hill because there is a, it's not a very flat area, so we could have houses building up the hill, which would be quite nice, I think. Uh, right, let's get a road down to unlock everything. We got to put one piece down. There we go, lovely. Everyone's happy. That unlocks everything, so we can get rid of that. Perfect. Now, am I going roundabout? <laughs> no. Do you know what? I'm not going to go roundabout. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to take these roads as they are, he says. Well, I'm not as they are. I don't think I need motorway roads. What have we got here? Let's have a look. We want a fairly substantial road, I reckon, that these can come onto. No, these are, these are far too big. They're massive. Uh, here? Yeah, something like that, maybe. What have we got over this way? UK roads. Yeah, maybe with some trees down the middle. Mm, maybe. It, it just... Yeah, would they have put trees down? Maybe a grass verge. I do like a grass verge. So if we consider the fact that's going to join onto here. We're going to have industry off that way. I'm actually tempted to put... Uh, around about here somewhere. So if we just do that for now, so these roads are coming onto here, like so. Can we grab this road, please? Thank you. Oh, we haven't unlocked that road yet, so no, we can't. Okay, we could do this though, right? You onto there, lovely, and then you onto there. Yep, that's hideous, but it once we've unlocked the other roads, it'll work out fine. Let's just do that for now. Yeah, that should be fine. So, what's going on here? What have we got? We got a street inside of a street. Okay, yeah, so that's good. We're going to go to there. Then we're going to put in a roundabout. Let's use the roundabout builder. 
I probably want about 60 in size, I'm going to say. Free cursor. Perfect. So we'll do that to there, for example. Then we'll upgrade the roads into actual roundabout roads, which I think are on this one. Yes, they are. There we go. Oh, turn around. There we go. Roundabout roads. Perfect. Then here, what am I going to do here? Just want two lanes coming off of there like that. Yeah, and then coming off of there like that. Perfect. Lovely. Happy with that. Don't like the zebra crossings on those roads though. Can we change that? Uh, UK roads. I just want one-way roads, please. Game. <laughs> oh, that one. That one with the double yellow lines. That would work perfectly. I would like the markings to be a bit stronger on these roads. Because like you've, you've got the double yellow lines and you've got the white lines down the middle, but they're very, very sort of lost, really. But it is what it is. Right, so our roundabout has now gone a funny shape because I didn't brace the roundabout. But it, it's all good. It's all good. We can we can fix it, he says. Can you go back to being sort of a roundabout shape? He said, yeah. Yeah, that'll teach me. You're all right. You're all right. That seems to be odd there, right? He said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? It'll be fine. Next time we'll brace it. So you're going to there, then we need to get some housing in, which is down this way. So maybe we'll do the same thing. We'll bring that road there. We want it to go across here as a bridge, right? So raise you up into that. What does that do? Elevated. Yes, I want you elevated. Uh, let's raise you slightly, just so you can go over the railway tracks. Perfect. Then we want to put you normal. Lovely. And then from there, you'll come down onto here. Oh. Brace the roundabout, if J Roscoe. Brace the roundabout. You know you're going to mess... Oh, look. <laughs> that roundabout's awful. I don't have the money to rebuild it right now. But we will. We will. We'll definitely rebuild it because that is atrocious. <laughs> just, just do what I want you to do, game. Just do that and then we'll fix the roundabout at some point. Yeah, why are you raised? I put you down, didn't I? Um, that one, lovely. Perfect. Yeah, that's that's about right. And then I just want you to be normal mode. So you're going to come down to there. And then straight through into the housing estate. Which I'm thinking, if we look, we could, we could definitely come across here like this so this is sort of heading over to the other island over there which that looks like very hilly but we we may be able to do it at some point so next we're going to need water and electric and stuff like that have i got a water source yes uh pump oh oh dear i don't really want to put my poo shoot out there if i'm honest it doesn't look like it would clear away very easy We'll bring some pipes up there, because why not? There we go. Perfect. Yeah, you're going to need power and you're going to need it. How much is an inland water treatment? 320 upkeep, 2,500 cost. 320. Oh, so it's about the same. It's the same as a poop shoot. Okay, I'm okay with that. We'll just bung that down here for a moment. Just for a moment. Most of the things we build at the moment are going to change. This is just so we can start getting some money in. Because ultimately our city needs money. And we're making a big loss at the moment. Which is fine. We expect to make a loss so early on. But it would be nice if we didn't. Should we go tree lined? Should we go? Yeah, because I think this is going to be quite a posh area to live. So let's go this way. Obviously, we can't put any districts in yet because that's not unlocked. I'm just going to start putting some tree-lined roads in. 
Although, can we have tree lined with parking? That would be amazing if we could. I bet that's going to be bigger roads, right? What have we got up here? Oh, no, 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 no. I just want... Yeah, see, no. Just no. Those are far too big. I need something. I need this, then with parking, and then tree line. That would be nice. Because I feel like in the UK, it would more likely be 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 parking than tree lined, if I'm honest. Like the tree line's beautiful, but we we rely on parking outside our houses because we don't get much. They when they were built, a lot of our houses they weren't sort of they didn't take into consideration parking. So if we come, ooh, how do I want to do this? How uh, that curved road doesn't help. But I'm thinking, how many does that make? Because I know the buildings I want to use in this early stage are six. Yeah, that that's not far enough. I need to be one more away. No, one. Oh, you're not going to because you're going to. Um, okay, okay, that's fine. We'll just. Mm hmm. How about I do? I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, if I just bring you down straight like that, and then we can work off there. So I think I want to go up one. So does that put six? Two, four. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what we want. Obviously, it's not going to make any difference at this stage because the game's just going to put in whatever it likes. But eventually, I am going to have the ability to say, no, I don't want those. I want these buildings. So that's what we're sort of planning for right now. So you can come up here. It'll be quite a gridded area, this. Which isn't my normal go-to. Normally I like quite flowy, flowy roads. But if we're going gridded for the time being, we're going gridded. There we go. Get some houses in. Lovely. We could even put some shops along the main road. Like that. A little bit of a shopping area for the time being. And let's speed it up so they build in. There we go. Our first peeps are moving into Oakley Down. And they're all complaining they've got no electric, which is, is fair. <laughs> there is no electric over here. Let's put you, I don't know, uh, there. Is that enough to sustain you? It is. Strangely enough, that tiny little box sustains everyone. Is it cheaty? Yes, very. But again, for the time being, I'm okay with that. I love that road going over that hill. It's going to be a nightmare to build on. An absolute nightmare. I don't know why it's raised like that needs to drop more. But we'll play with that in a bit. So now you want industry, which I'm sort of thinking just this side would make sense. <laughs> this, <laughs> oh, this roundabout. Do, I, mm, do you know what? What if we just go like that for now? We'll get rid of the rank. Wait, pause. Pause. What if we get rid of the roundabout and then I just take that through and you we'll just have a T-junction. Just like that. We'll have a T-junction. That'll come down there. That's good. And then this road here can sort of come over this way a bit. And across here. And the industry can come off of that road. Yeah, so this is like a main throughway. It's not that. <laughs> okay, so the pro I'm thinking maybe not parking. Or maybe parking. Maybe we'll have one main big road off here and then smaller roads coming off it. So if I do that and then we'll go over to the small roads. And you dude, I suppose people need to park where they work. If we think of it that way. You can come along there. Again, I don't want to overdo it with industry. Because all of this will definitely be going. A million percent. Why don't they look? That's a very odd line up there. But that will work fine. We do need to give them some water. Is the quickest way to get... Shall we follow the road round? Probably. That's how water pipes work, right? They're always under the road. In my head, that's how they work. I don't actually know if that's accurate. Would they have followed that road round or would they have just gone across? Well, no, I suppose the railway tracks there would have cost too much to dig that up, wouldn't it? 
does babbling now that's fine let's get some of that in so people have places to work i might even put a bit of shopping over here why not people have got to go and buy their lunch when they're at work from somewhere and uh, that's right here at the moment i get that lovely move you across one get a bit more in perfect and we're just sort of working our way up to unlock our our, our first our first milestone really our first milestone is at 500 population and that and like that's what we need oh you're going to need electricity aren't you we can cheat again we can use these little things till like, i decide what sort of power i want to use green would be good but i bet there's not very windy areas oh there's one there and we could take advantage of the hills because we've got quite a bit that's going to give us eight megawatts that's the best we can get seven megawatts yeah so you just need so many of these things that's the issue with them plus we don't have money for a coal powered oh we're making money we are making money we are in the green that's perfect that's just what we wanted we're in the green so that's ideal what do we need now not a lot we just gotta let them build in And we're a little hamlet which means we can now we can now edit taxes and we can take out loans blah 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 you know how it works so let's first things first let's go and put our taxes up because that's where our money's coming from and uh, so the low density i might do is 11 percent, and then the rest of them is 12. i don't know why i'm giving low density a break but i am oh look see this is what this is the weird bits when 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 the house is cut into to the ground which is okay i don't hate it but it can be a bit ropey so i'm thinking i'm thinking we're gonna go i'm gonna play around with the roundabout builder again wish me luck i'm gonna pop you can i turn like if i do that you'll snap now won't you you will and we want 40. I'm definitely going for, yeah, we want to go a bit smaller. So we could put one there, right? Just like that. Then we're going to grab some roundabout roads. Uh, I'd like three lanes, actually. Can we have three lanes? Three lanes like that. Replace those. So that roundabout's in. Lovely. Uh, I do want to get rid of that zone in that side of the roundabout. So that's that. Then going on to the roundabout we should probably have um, we could have this two going on one coming off because you don't need two lanes coming off the roundabout you only need one like that but flipped around so two going on one coming off i hate the fact there's a zebra crossing there can we turn that off is there a way of getting rid of that zebra crossing? I don't think there is. <laughs> Fine, we'll keep the ugly zebra crossing. Yeah, so if I do that, that works. That's the main road. But same here, actually. We could definitely do asymmetrical. Do we have UK asymmetrical roads? No, because that would make my life far too... Ah, yes, yes, asymmetrical here, right at this end, if I'm correct. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to do that with Grass Verge. Perfect. And then we'll do the same that side, but going the other way. Yes, although... Although you probably need a turning lane there. Mm-hmm. Okay, just go with it. Just go with it. And then I want to go down to a two-lane bicycle, shall we? Because I know that the bicycles have nowhere to go at this point. And that's normal in the UK. If you look at our cycle lanes, they do just stop randomly. And it's always made me laugh. And I've gone, 
But where are the bikes supposed to go at this point? Like, they just vanish. But that is a thing. Like, it genuinely is a random thing that we do in the UK. Bike lanes just stop. So this is going to be our main road in and out. Then we're, I, I, I like the idea of the tree-lined roads. But it's so annoying that there's no parking on those. Because parking is sort of a big issue. Maybe we'll 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 do a mixture. So we'll do a bit of a tree line road like that. I'm trying to mix it up a bit here. So we got a bit of a bit of a bit of um movement in the road. So they're not all gridded. I'm not a huge fan of gridded. So if we go for the main like the the main road coming off the main road into the estate area. Then the little roads that come on off, off that can have parking, right? I think that would work quite nicely. Give us a bit of a mix. Um, so that's you. That's the parking one. So here, for example, we could come off. No, we could come off there like that and bring a little road in there with parking. And the same is here. We could just go along the back. If I do that, for example, and then that. Yes, yes, that works, that works. The issue with this is you end up with a lot of empty space that they can't fill. Then here, I'm just going to do a road like that. And then a road coming off there. So there's a bit of parking. Yeah, a bit of a mix. Then we want to bring in some piping. See, that definitely looks better, though. Rather than in grids. It sort of gives it some flu fluidity. Fluidity, that's a nice word, fluidity. There we go. Up to there. Pipes are in. Perfect. Then we're just gonna we're gonna zone it. This is gonna do I want housing on the main road? Haven't decided. Oh no, not there. Yeah, see there's some very odd little squares here. Because I've squeezed it in, but I like that about it. Keep going, keep building, people. You see your new houses coming together. They would have housing on that main road. I almost feel like I don't want them there, but I do at the same time. And I want a path going through, but we haven't unlocked that. Again, they unlock far too late, in my opinion, in-game. Yeah, go on. Put the house in there. They're not building it anyway. We've got no demand, but it's all good. We will have dem demand eventually. Let's put a little transformer box. Because you do see these on the side of the roads every now and again, like that, which I skip it over the roundabout. And um, whilst that's building in, we could probably set up our roundabouts to be proper roundabouts. So if I go to shut UI down and bring out traffic manager, we want to go onto here, shift, control, click. And that should have made it into a nice roundabout for us, which it has. Perfect. That's going that way. That's going that way. Just thinking. Yeah, I do want two lanes, because you would have two lanes coming up to a roundabout. You just would. Might be a bit longer than that. Could I replace it a little bit? I don't want it all the way back there, do I? Uh, yeah, go on then. Do that. Oh, we could have a turning lane. So that brings a turning lane down to there, which is perfect. Now, we might have to get rid of the bike lanes, because if I do that... Like so. That's a turning lane going the other direction. And then we'll do that again down to here. Which will be a turning lane for there. Perfect. Yes. And then the other direction will be a turning lane on that side. Perfect. Okay, yeah, I like that. It's got turning lanes. We're, we're, we're happy with that. This is a bit of a pain because that is a bit close to here to make a turning lane in both but we'll see what we can do again i think i'm going to get rid of this eventually and sort of go with this uh, aesthetic the flowing roads and that uh what does it need it needs garbage so let's probably go with a landfill site to start with just because it's cheap and easy and it holds a lot of items we're going to pop you there. Lovely. That's done. They also want some medical 
centers. I, we do have some UK ones, but we have some nice modern ones as well, which I really like. Modern clinic. How much are you? 10,000, 8,000, 320 a week, 400 a week. Yeah, so these are cheaper. Dentist. Oh, yeah, let's put a dentist in. Everyone likes the dentist, right? <laughs> oh, where am I going to put that? Uh, I feel like the dentist would be on the main road. Maybe on that corner. Like that. Perfect. And then they need a school, right? Now, I like the idea of this being quite a modern school. Like that. I love the primary school. The Nova primary school. And it's cheap. Upkeep is 41 bucks a week, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous, but great for us. Now I have to decide where, where, where we want the school to be. Because the school's going to have its own plot of land, right? So if I do that, then we're going to... No, I want that road there. Thank Hello. Oh, wait, I have to be on the right thing. There we go. So if I bring this road up this way... And then we're going to have the turning lane on that side, please. Thank you very much. Yeah, so you, you come up to the junction and you've got turning lanes. Perfect. Then off of here, we could have the school. We could have... Let's have a look. What roads do we have? I don't want anything sort of too much, maybe. Oh, maybe we could have a one-way system. What if we go for this one coming in like that? And then it can run along here and come back out. And the school area can be over here, which I sort of like. I like that because then we can grab a smaller road again. What's that? That's like, oh, I think that's like cobblestone. I do like cobblestone. Not for this, but I, I, it's all right. I'm just thinking we can have a little road coming off that to put the secondary school on. So the secondary school and primary school are all in together. I like that idea, but we'll deal with that once we get sort of more options. Let's just put the primary school in to start with. Although, do I want the primary school? Mm, well, I don't know. Maybe I do want the primary school separate, so we do want that road now. Um, is that... Are any of these just grass? You're, you're, you're all going to be... Oh, there. That. That's what I want. Raw village road. Like that. Now, that's all going to be... That needs flattening out, doesn't it? I think... We've got a weird step going on there. Yeah, do you know what? What happens if I... Like, do I want to build it on a hill? That seems a terrible idea. What happens if I just do that... And flatten all of this. Then if I go to object height. And I go here. Yeah, that that's quite... No, no. Wait. To object height. What about that one? Oh, that's a bit better. It does cut away a lot of the hill, though. Okay, do you know what? Undo, undo... We may, we may have to make this work. There is far too many nodes here. That's what's causing the issue at this point. So let's use the move it there. We're going to move you out slightly to there. Perfect. Move you over. There we go. That's okay. Do you know what? I think this node here, if we raise that, so it's a bit raised there, that would work. Then we're going to put the school in. And we're going to put the school on this here. So it gives us that. Perfect. I do think we need a car park in that, which we can't unlock yet. So this might be a bit interesting once we get to that point. So I'm thinking we're going to have to cross the railway track at some point. I always thought it put automatically put a crossing in, but it doesn't put a crossing in. Is that just certain roads? Is that the UK roads that don't put a crossing in? Let's have a look. Let's give this a go. Let's go for a base game road. Do you automatically put the crossings in? Like that road there. Let's do that. No. No, it doesn't. 
Oh. Okay. I thought it would have. <laughs> okay, you got to take your life in your own hands when living in these areas. It's fine. Is it... Am I doing something wrong? Or is that not a thing in City Skylines? Wait, wait, wait. I want that one. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want the trees running up to there. Do I want the grass verge? Or would they make it more industrial? I think they'd go more industrial. Anyway, I'm getting just sort of... Yeah, maybe we could put our own crossing in. Um... But at this moment, it doesn't seem to do that for us. I just didn't want to come off of this main road into an estate over here. And this is ideal for a little sort of housing estate. So that's what we're going with. We could probably change these trees out, actually, but that's fine. Let's just put our main road in going to there. And then we can have a second one coming off. Wait, wait, wait. Go that way for me and then just come along here. Perfect. Oh, we are a worthy village. Amazing. So we've got districts at last, which is is something that I wish would unlock straight away. There's so much I, I, I'd like to unlock straight away, but it's fine. It's fine. We get there in the end. Then we're going to go for the parking roads, right? So we've got plenty of room to expand right now. You can go over to there. You can sort of go there, maybe. Wait, wait, wait. There. Yeah, that works. Then off of these, we can sort of go like so. Not ideal. I know people are screaming at the screen right now going, why would people want to live right next to a railway line? But they do. They do. There's loads of houses in my city where the, the gardens end at the railway line. Like the, the trains are at the bottom of their garden. It is just a thing. Like trains have to get into the, the middle of cities. So they come through housing to get there. There we go. Lovely. That's in. Um, what have we've unlocked loads of things right now, haven't we? Yes, is the answer. Do they want more housing? Not really, not at the moment. I'm just going to run that through ready for when they do. Let's start with our district. I'm going to start this side of the road. This is going to be a district. The other side is going to be a different district, I think. There we go. Lovely. What this district is going to be called, I don't know. The game's going to decide for the time being. What have you decided, oh mighty game? Uh, Brerewood Hill. Hills. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm okay with that. That's not a terrible name. Right, there's that. And then if I click out of here, right, and then click on there, we can go Styles. And I'm going to go UK Semi or UK Nice Semi. Ooh, UK Nice Semi. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's go for a Nice Semi. So all those buildings should start disappearing, if I'm correct. And the new, the Nice Semi should start building in. We may have to do a bit of tweaking here and there just to get the right things working. Is that going to be a UK Nice Semi? Doesn't look like it, actually. Boom, boom, things are happening. I'm going to go over this side and start zoning in this. There and there. I might put a bit of retail by the crossing. Because I feel like that would be a good option. And then that's going to lead into housing over this direction. He says. Yeah, there we go. So they can expand into that area. There's the houses we want. Look how nice they are. Beautiful models. I like the fact he's chosen the corner ones for the corner as well. That's lovely. And then there's those. I think once the area fills out with them, it should work really nicely. So there should be two ha one household. See, that is why we've got the realistic population mod. Because it says one household. So we're going to go over right. No, do we? Yeah. If I go over right and then type two households add custom settings that should replace it if i'm correct for each one one house uh, yeah two household two households so yeah i think that's most of them two 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 yep two households there is a lot to sort of oh, see the issue is these are too small these areas so it's almost like i want to oh, do I put these in manually? 
that might work because we can do that right we can we can go uh uk go away a minute uh uk semi there we go look we could do these ourselves which would take time but it would look better like that road there is a bit pointless actually in all fairness we could get rid of it Yeah, do you know what? I've made that a bit tight, I think. If we get rid of that, then we could just have housing across there. That will give us the decent housing. And then on the corners, we might have to add them in. Uh, that one again, probably. Get rid of that would be better. Like that. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that blank so we can use this for more commercial buildings. But I definitely think that's the way to go. The issue with some of these is they leave gaps between. So maybe I will go along and put them in. Maybe we'll just sort of wait, pause the game a second, get rid of that. Go back to this. We're going to put a nice corner house there. Could we move this road slightly then? Could we move you up just to get some in behind it? I think that should be fine. Let's grab some flat ones because they should be able to go in there then. Yeah, just like that. Then here, we'll just mix it up slightly, pick some random ones like that. That's okay, that's okay. And then you can go there and there. And then the rest of it should fill in automatically. Yeah, we, we might have to do a little bit here and there, but the area itself is going to look really nice, actually. We can get some trees in, which will be nice. Close that. Look, see? That looks lovely. Really nice. And why don't you put some trees in that in? I don't like this though. Where's Bob? Bob, Bob, my old friend, come out here and let's change these trees on this road. So trees, that one. Can we replace you for leafy? Oh, oh, they're big. Um, probability. Ah, okay. We don't, yeah, 100%. But can we spread them out? Is that something we can do? No, we can offset them off the road. We can offset them that way, which is odd. Uh, hmm, zero. Does height... Oh, yeah, height actually just removes moves them. I thought it might change the height of the tree, but no. Okay, so we might need a smaller tree. Extra tall. I don't know. Nah. The thing is, we don't want them to be too bushy or they're going to look over the top. But we don't want them to be too boring either. Regular green bush. Oh, see, now those are nice. If I could put a variation of those, I'd be really happy. Oh, I want those. Wait, that's just going to sugar maple. We're going to go to sugar maple. Undo. Oh, I wish I could put like a variation in. Props and tree scaling. <gasps> Can we do that? I don't know what that does. Minimum scale, maximum scale. That's not changing anything. Okay, that's fine. That should be... Oh, we didn't save it. They were massive, those trees though. Do you know what? I'll, I'll look into that for the next episode. Hopefully we'll get some nicer trees onto those roads. And I would like to unlock parks in the next episode. Parks and landscaping so we can get the secondary school and all that up and running. Let's get a quick police station in. Because we want our people to feel safe. Can we put one over here with... Like, that's quite a modern building. Have we got a modern... That's quite modern. I'd imagine that's quite expensive though. Um, upkeep 960. Yeah, it is quite expensive. That one's not modern enough. That's almost ugly. We might have to go with this one. Maybe we don't go modern. Maybe I pull it over here by the railway crossing. Like, would it, it probably will fit in now. I can use the one that doesn't have parking. And it can have its own little area. Let's do that. Let's come out to that and grab the move it mod. 
Yeah, that that works. No, I don't want a American completely. Oh. <laughs> How am I going to make you fit on here? That actually sort of fits just. Like, really just about. Uh, right, first off, let's come out to that and we're going to say we want you to use UK cars, please. Uh, what have we got? Honda Goldwing? I don't know what that is. We could have a UK police van. Yeah, let's go with that. Then, can we paint in the ground slightly? So, can I paint this? Yes, I can. Perfect. We'll put some hedges or something along there to, to give them a backed area. And maybe we'll do a little car park out the back. Yeah, that would be nice. We could do a little area where they park their police cars. Can I? Can we search for police cars? Is that something? Uh, police? Yes, we can. Look at that. Oh, wait. Uh, how do I do this? Shift. Alt P is it? Shift P. Yes, Shift P. There we go. So we can put these out the back here. That's brilliant. Yeah, there we go. And I'm going to park them different directions. Can you turn around that way, sir? Thank you very much. And then we'll have you. Oh, yeah. See, that's lovely. That's really nice. Is that all the police things we've got? I think so. That's all right. That looks fine. And then we can do like a normal car park out the back where you know there's going to be trouble normally. We could put some modern houses along here, actually. Uh, if I go UK detached, I'm sure there's some modern looking detached houses. Yes. Not those, not those, not those. Because they would put these in these areas where there's nothing and they go, oh, there's a tiny bit of land there. We can build some new houses on that. And that's exactly what they've done here. Although, I'm going to put you there and you there. Can I rotate you around so you stay like that? Is that something the game will allow me to do? You're just going to disappear on me, aren't you? I already know it is, but we're, we're, we're trying. Are you going to disappear? Historic building. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Puff gone. Yeah, that's lovely. Have we got a tree brush yet? No. Yes. Yes, we have. So, this will give us quite a good idea of what we're looking at once we put some trees in here. Like so. That might be a bit heavy on the front here. Like, so. yeah, that's good. Um, And then we could possibly put a fire station on the front. Uh, what don't you like? Low land value. That is a downside. I didn't consider that, if I'm honest. And you do end up with this big step. Like these people who are up here, they're down there. But it doesn't look too out of place from, from up here. Do you know what? I think it's going to be okay. Let's get for the last thing. Like th This is one of those games you could just play and play and play and play and play. I'm just going to get a fire station in. Rural fire station. Now we could go with a UK one actually. It would actually fit on that corner really nicely. Quite an industrial look. I don't mind that at all. Let's grab the move it mod. Someone's just signed into Steam so I can't see it. There we go. Can we move you slightly down? I just want that car park on the front to be a bit smoother. Or we can move the roundabout bit slightly up, right? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. Then we can move the dentist into a more suitable location. Like I'm thinking the dentist would be... This would be the back of the dentist in my, in my opinion. And then we'll have like, like a little car park at the front there. That's what I'm... Th oh, it is on a weird slope though, isn't it? Let me grab that one. We'll move you up slightly. Which is good. And then I can grab this and fill this area in. Just so it looks a bit like people are going to come in here. And we'll just make a makeshift car park on the front. Like that. Grab you. Bring you over to there. Because I do think they would keep some trees. And then that can go to there. That can go to there. 
And then I don't really know how to make you look like a car park. Car? Do I get a car if I type car? Is that too obvious for the search? Yes, yes it is. Okay, um... Parking. What if I put parking? Ooh, we... Ah, oh, there is parking. There's these things. What happens if I put those in? That's horrendous. But if we did it like... If I rotated you around like that... That works fine. How are you not attached to the road and the other one's fine? Are you sure you're not attached to the road game? Because you look attached to the road to me. Oh, that's annoying. Yes, I know. I know you don't like it, but you will like it. It'll be fine. Why are you not snapping anymore? Is that because I've used move it to produce you? Right, and then we're going to grab you and we're going to rotate you that way slightly. It's an odd car park. Maybe if I just go like that. Yeah, see, that's okay. <laughs> mm hmm I'm actually tempted to drop the dentist slightly. Just so the hill's not so inclined. Oh. Yeah, like, a bit like... Is that better? That is better. It's not so mad now. I hate the fact it's saying it's not attached to the road. When it clearly is as close to the road as everyone else. Clearly. Yeah, we're going to ignore it. From up here, you can't, you can't tell that there's anything wrong. That's what I'm going with. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe. It does help the channel. Join me next time where we expand the city, hopefully more than we have. Because we haven't made much of a footprint, but we have made a nice start. Until then, I'll see you again.